The simplest human thoughts are inconceivable to a chimp. So let's get back to this 1% smarter alien that we've discovered. What would we look like to them? The notion of an alien invasion has long fascinated the human imagination, prominently featured across classic literature and blockbuster movies alike. Among the myriad reasons why advanced extraterrestrial civilizations might refrain from invading Earth, the concept of interstellar governance and non-aggression stands out as particularly compelling. This is not merely a staple of science fiction, but could realistically reflect the political frameworks of multiple alien societies if they exist. Imagine a universe where interstellar alliances function similarly to a United Nations, but on a galactic scale. These coalitions could govern interactions among planets, enforce peace treaties, and maintain order across the galaxy. The diversity in political systems might mirror those on Earth, ranging from democracies to oligarchies to collectives based on mutual consensus among different alien species. The legal frameworks in place might prohibit unwarranted aggression and ecological destruction, upheld by peacekeeper patrols and even galaxy-wide surveillance systems to monitor treaty compliance. Another fascinating model is the zoo hypothesis which suggests that advanced civilizations intentionally avoid contact with Earth to allow for unimpeded human development, akin to zookeepers ensuring animals are not aware of life beyond their enclosures. Such a policy of cosmic non-interference might be supported by ancient treaties, possibly enforced through technologies that could cloak the presence of these civilizations or by creating buffer zones around developing worlds. This might be rooted in a philosophical aim to preserve the natural evolution and cultural integrity of less advanced planets. Parallel to this is the Watcher Theory, where powerful extraterrestrial entities act as cosmic stewards, guarding less advanced worlds like Earth against external threats. These guardians might only intervene to maintain cosmic balance, possibly by diverting asteroids, neutralizing aggressive alien civilizations or subtly guiding technological development to prevent planetary self-destruction. Some believe that unexplained phenomena, such as UFO sightings, could be manifestations of these watchers' activities. Adding another layer to these protective measures could be the development of a super-intelligent AI by a civilization that has reached a high technological threshold. Such an AI could theoretically govern not only its own population, but also regulate activities across different species to prevent destructive behaviours such as invasions. This AI would ideally operate under a strict set of ethical guidelines designed to promote peace and ensure the welfare of numerous species across various planets. Its decision-making process would be driven by complex algorithms capable of processing vast amounts of data, thus enabling it to execute interventions with high precision and impartiality. These theories and models collectively underscore a complex tapestry of possible interstellar relations and protective measures that might significantly reduce the likelihood of an Earth invasion, portraying a universe where advanced technologies and ethical considerations intermingle to foster peace rather than conflict. Now, the idea that Earth may not be a prime target for an alien invasion due to its lack of unique resources is another interesting idea. It's intriguing to consider that the very elements and minerals we find precious are, in fact, common throughout the universe. This abundance could mean that Earth isn't as special as we might think, at least not when it comes to resources that might attract extraterrestrial civilizations looking for conquest. Looking out into the vastness of space, elements like hydrogen, helium, carbon, and oxygen make up the majority of what's out there. Hydrogen, for example, constitutes about 74% of the universe's elemental mass, and helium makes up about 24%. Their ubiquity suggests that these fundamental elements aren't worth crossing galaxies for. Even the metals that we consider valuable, such as those found in our sun and other stars, are produced in their cores and spread across the galaxy by supernovae, making them relatively common and accessible in the cosmos. Beyond our own planet, asteroids and comets offer a treasure trove of materials that might be of interest to an advanced alien civilization. Asteroids, 
like the famed 16 Psyche, are believed to be packed with metals like nickel and iron in quantities that dwarf Earth's reserves. Comets are equally rich in resources, boasting large amounts of water ice and organic compounds that could be used for life support or as fuel. The energy costs associated with mining these celestial bodies are likely lower than those required for extracting similar resources from Earth's stronger gravitational pull. The advancements in space travel and robotics only make these options more viable. Mining technologies designed for zero-gravity environments can operate without the ethical or political complications associated with terrestrial mining. This technological capability means that aliens could harvest resources from asteroids and comets with relative ease, further reducing the incentive to target Earth for its resources. The Medea hypothesis offers a unique perspective on why Earth might be unappealing to resource-seeking aliens. Proposed by paleontologist Peter Ward, this theory suggests that life on Earth is inherently self-destructive, heading towards ecological exhaustion that would deter any long-term exploitation plans. According to this hypothesis, an advanced alien civilization using predictive modeling might see Earth's trajectory towards ecological collapse as a sign that it's a poor choice for sustainable resource extraction. Moreover, any attempt to intervene on Earth could risk drawing the alien species into local ecological or extinction crises, adding a layer of risk that might not be worth taking. Together, these insights and theories paint a picture of a universe where Earth is just one of many worlds, none of which are particularly outstanding in terms of resources. This scenario reduces the likelihood of Earth being targeted by aliens, suggesting that the cosmos is not only vast, but filled with opportunities for civilizations that know where to look. Continuing from the discussion about Earth's lack of unique resources, another significant barrier to the feasibility of an alien invasion is the colossal energy demands and logistical complexities associated with interstellar travel. Our current understanding of physics, astronomy and engineering all suggest that even for technologically advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, the energy and logistical requirements might make such endeavours highly impractical or extremely resource intensive. Consider the fundamental physics of space travel. The nearest star system, Proxima Centauri, lies about 4.24 light years from Earth. With today's technology, a trip there would take tens of thousands of years, even with futuristic propulsion technologies like light sails or nuclear pulse propulsion, which are still theoretical at best. This journey could potentially be shortened to a matter of decades. However, such a journey would require energy outputs comparable to the total energy consumed by the entire modern Earth over several years. Looking at potential energy sources for such interstellar journeys, we find options like antimatter annihilation and controlled fusion reactions. Antimatter, the most energy-dense material known, releases immense amounts of energy when annihilated with matter. One gram of antimatter reacting with matter produces about the equivalent energy of 43 kilotons of TNT. However, producing and storing antimatter in the necessary quantities is well beyond our current capabilities. There are also considerable challenges in propulsion and life support. Theoretical propulsion systems, such as the Alcubierre drive, which would theoretically allow faster than light travel by bending spacetime, require negative energy densities, a concept not achievable with contemporary physics. Traditional propulsion methods like ion drives or nuclear thermal rockets, while somewhat more feasible, still don't offer the efficiency needed for practical, sustainable interstellar travel. Moreover, sustaining life on a spacecraft for potentially centuries, recycling air, water and food adds another layer of complexity and demand on energy. The logistical challenges are no less daunting. The resources required for building and maintaining a fleet capable of interstellar operations, not to mention the life support systems needed, would be astronomical. These resources could arguably be better used for less resource-intensive and risky endeavours. Additionally, the risks associated with interstellar travel, such as collisions with interstellar dust, 
and mechanical failures over long durations compound these logistical and safety concerns, further reducing the appeal of distant operations. An interesting framework to consider in this context is the Kardashev scale, developed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. This scale classifies civilizations based on their energy consumption capabilities. A Type 1 civilization can use and store all the energy available on its planet. A Type 2 can harness the energy of its entire star. And a Type 3 can control energy on the scale of its entire galaxy. For regular interstellar travel or invasion to be feasible, a civilization would likely need to be at least a Type 2 capable of utilising energy on a stellar scale to power necessary propulsion systems and sustain life for extended missions. This scale not only highlights the immense energy requirements for interstellar travel, but also the advanced technological stages necessary for such capabilities. These insights collectively underscore the logistical and energy-related hurdles that would need to be overcome for an alien civilization to consider an invasion of Earth pointing to the improbability of such an event driven by conventional motives as often depicted in popular culture.